we are gearing up for one of the most exciting sports events of this year, the first ever marble race on the Marble Machine X, John. That's right, John, the Marble Machine X is a notorious course known for its perpetual need of reparations, but that's not the only thing that will worry the athletes today. This course is also known as one of the fastest courses on the whole circuit where the athletes gain speed close to the speed of light. So let's meet our contenders today, John. Thanks, John, we have last year's winner, the Black Dragon, followed by Red Devil representing Varian and the Green Goblin. And the referee has just made the coin toss. Looks like the Red Devil has won the coin toss. But I'm hearing right now that the Green Goblin has made a deal with the Devil. So the Green Goblin takes pole position. What about that action packed even before the race has begun? Let's take a quick look at the court today to see what they're up against, John. Thanks, John. This first Marble Machine X race is starting in the conveyor belt where it's crucial for the athletes to get a good position. From the peak of the conveyor, they will PMMA transition to the top of the marble divider, an obstacle which has given the course developers a lot of headaches over the years. And earlier today I met John down in the corridors and he thought that this race might be decided in the marble divider itself because only some marbles will find the instrument lines immediately. The marbles that doesn't find position in the instrument lanes will be recycled by the divide by four mechanism leading up to the fish stair. It's important to keep calm in the fish stair. The athletes have prepared for this, but it's of course a completely different thing when the pressure is on, John. That's absolutely right, John. Even the slightest lapse of concentration, you might find yourself stuck in the demagnetizer like Black Dragon did in last year's semi-final. After the marble divider, you're approaching maybe the scariest part, the marble drop. This is not for the faint-hearted, a 30 centimeter marble drop, so the dangers are far from over. Out of the ashes into the fire, John. Yeah, that's right, John. If you survive the marble drop, you will hit the kick drum and fall straight into the stainless steel marble funnel into the heart of the machine. Speeding beneath the machine, you will appear on the backside in the marble race track that we all know and love. It is a beauty and maybe my favorite part of this whole course. From here, the athletes are racing towards the end of the descent. This is the easiest part of the course and once they reach the bottom, they will be picked up by the figure eight gear lift. It's a speedy gear lift designed for maximum marble lifting capacity hold on tight in this lift john that's right john this is where your ferromagnetic abilities really come into play stick tight to the wall and you will be transferred to the second gear lift heading up to the finish line just before the finish line we find a very controversial obstacle the demagnetizer inside the demagnetizer the athletes has to push their way through alternating magnetic fields once out of the other side they can just make the short little curve and enter the conveyor belt again and that's the finish line of this race today John. Thanks Jan, it feels like this can be anyone's race and I'm just hearing that we are ready for the first ever marble race on the Marble Machine X. The athletes are on the starting line. What kind of thoughts are going through their heads right now you think John? You know John on this level the mental part of the game is everything. The athletes are heavily trained to think nothing but roll roll roll. I see Wilson the main referee is preparing and there we go and it's the Black Dragon that takes the stars from the worst position. This is where his experience comes in. Black Dragon is leading before Green Goblin. They're neck and neck. Red Devil is on third place, they're reaching the top of the Khmer belt and there, boom, into the marble right and Green Goblin passes Black Dragon on the second lane. What is going on here, John? Honestly, John, I think we're watching a classic in the making. Green Goblin on world record speed, crushing the fish there into pieces with Black Dragon on second and Red Devil still on third. We're entering a tactical stage of this course. Green Goblin is protecting his lead, waiting, lurking trying to find that timing window for when the instrument chants are going to be open. This can be decisive. The timing here is crucial, John. That's right, John. On the Marble Machine X course, timing is everything. We're waiting for the referee to activate the kick drum and there it goes. The instrument channel is now open. Who will get there first? It's the Green Goblin. Go straight into the instrument lane. Tightly followed by the Red Devil. These marbles are so fast, the camera operator hardly can keep up with them, John. That's right, John. They should give this camera guy a Grammy just for trying, John. But now I'm wondering where is Black Dragon? There he is! Way behind. I'm looking over at Black Dragon's team and they look like they could spit fire at any second. Not a happy face anywhere to be seen. This could be the largest upset in the history of the sport, John. That's absolutely right, John. If you would have told me this morning that the Green Goblin would have taken a 25 second lead over the Black Dragon, I would have laughed straight out. But look who's laughing now. The Green Goblin is laughing now. Laughing his way all the way down towards the marble drop. Let's see how this goes. Green Goblin tightly followed by the Red Devil is entering the Matrix Sentinel marble shuttles. The Goblin is charging. Boom! He jumped. No hesitation there, John. 
absolutely no hesitation at all from the Green Goblin there, John. It's very impressive to see a rookie coming up to the big league, taking its lead and defending it like this. And where is Black Dragon? There he is, inside the marble drop, he's gonna jump. What? We have an error message all across the screen. What is going on here, John? Honestly, John, I have no clue. I'm trying to get word from some officials and I'm just hearing back from them that the Marble Machine X has broken down. The Marble Machine lives up to its disgraced name and it has broken down mid tournament. This is a disaster. I didn't think something like this was possible to happen at this level of the sport, John. Me neither, John. I never thought anything like this was ever possible, but on the other hand, it's the Marble Machine X we're talking about. I'm just hearing back from the course developers that there is a problem with the Marble Drop. It's not good enough, they say. The Marble Drops are not good enough and need to be replaced. The repair team has been called in and the referees are closely inspecting all the replacement parts. The weight is now falling heavily on the shoulders of the tournament director to replace the broken parts on the marble machine with these new ones and restart the marble race so we can move on with the competition. What a mess and in live broadcast as well John. Indeed John and the crowd is booing now. This is not what they came for. The tournament director is desperately trying to explain for the audience that the marble racing will continue once these reparations are completed. That's basically all he can do to stop them clicking away for instant gratification which is pulling hard on the audience right now. John. Indeed John marble racing is widely considered to be one of the most dopamine inducing types of video content there is pull the lollipop out of the kids mouth and it will click away on you John my thoughts exactly John they need to come up with some kind of magical miracle right now some kind of magical miracle device that can fix the situation what can it be and there it is there it is the angle grinder the angle grinder has been taken out and the crowd goes mad this is the crowd pleaser of crowd pleasers. One tool to rule them all. I have never seen sparks that beautiful, John. Talk about sparking joy, John. Look at the smile on that face, removing six months of work in less than five minutes. It's unbelievable at this rate. We will have marble racing back in no time. But even if they solve this issue really, really fast, this is a huge pain for everyone involved, John. That's true, but you know what I say about pain, John? Pain is temporary and glory is forever. I'm sure that the tournament director will take any means necessary to get marble racing back on track as quick as as possible now and we are seeing the progress in front of our eyes all the old parts have been taken off and we can now start to assemble the new parts to fix this issue the future of the marble machine is hanging on the functionality of these new parts do you think they will hold up john i'm afraid i'm not so sure john this is the fourth time these parts has been replaced and redesigned so i want to see marble racing i want to say just yes, but i'm not sure john couldn't agree more with you john and i'm getting fresh reports here about an ugly turn of events there's now a discussion about what actually caused the problem on the marble machine x was it inexpert engineered or was it something else we're hearing rumors about potential sabotage from the black dragons team things were going really bad in the race for the black dragon at the time the failure appeared causing the race to be aborted it looks kind of suspicious what do you think john i would agree with you there john if it wasn't for the fact that the marble machine next was well known for breaking down every single day this machine has 15,000 individual parts and they're all either over or under engineered so innocent until proven guilty if you ask me john those are welcome and warming words coming from you, John. The friendship and the camaraderie between these Marvel athletes has been top level on the days leading up to the tournament. So it's really a shame when things like this happen. And regardless what happens now, discussions like this always leave a bitter aftertaste. But I'm sure Black Dragon will take it out on the course with other competitors. What do you think, John? Oh, most definitely, John. For winners like Black Dragon, this is just fuel to his fire. He will channel an energy, good or bad, into his rolling on the track and it wouldn't surprise me the slightest if he will crush the others just to prove his point, you know. Black Dragon will turn up on this starting line furious. He will not be fighting for the tournament trophy anymore. He will be fighting for his name and that kind of motivation is hard to deal with for the other competitors. That's what I think, John. I think they're in a big disadvantage from here. Good point, John. Black Dragon is the Magnus Carlsen of the marble racing world. Good natured, friendly and funny until the pieces are on the board and the first move is played friendship over John. John, you left me speechless for a moment there, John. Something else that seems to be over soon is the reparations of the Marble Machine X. So the Marble Racing will begin shortly. It looks like the repair team is making lighting fast progress. After all, they have been doing this for years now. Laser cut metal parts fused together on an atomic level with plasma pistol. Easy. Plywood parts on the CNC with tolerances unheard of. No problem. PMMA pipe bending with clean inner radius. Just another day at the office for these guys, John. That's right, John. These course developers have been clear publicly about the fact that they are trying to build 
build the most complicated, the most difficult marble racing track course on the planet and potentially in the universe if there's no other life in the universe, John. If there's other civilizations out there, you do wonder what kind of marble racing technologies they have come up with, but I will go out on a limb here and say that I doubt that they have reached the level of racing that we've seen earlier today here, John. Hard to imagine, John. Meanwhile, we're seeing the last pieces of the course being put together. This is an historical day for the Marble Machine X. Never before in the history of the Marble Machine X has the entire marble track been put together. This has been a long-standing goal for the developers. A milestone has been reached. Never before has the marbles been able to travel around the whole marble machine from top to bottom and up again. This is a fantastic day for marble racing. And here we are watching footage from the time trials earlier this morning. You can see the Green Goblin is adapting quickly to this new part of the course, but both the Red Devil and the Black Dragon is looking good at this part of the course, John. There seem to be little to nothing telling them apart. I think the athlete with the strongest mental game will take the trophy today. Meanwhile, we're seeing the repair team adding the stainless funnel. That's the last piece of the puzzle. They're trying the course out and judging from the reactions of the repair team, the course looks good. It looks like we are settled to restart the race. The tension is rising, John. Excitement is reaching unbearable levels. I would need flex tape to keep myself together, John. Let's focus on the racing now because this is it. The athletes are lined up on the starting line for the restart of the first ever marble race on the Marble Machine X. This is the kind of moment these athletes have been dreaming about for their whole lives, growing up in childhood bedrooms, plastered with posters of Team Galactic from Jealous Marble Runs, dreaming about a career in marble racing and now's their chance. Green Goblin has pole position with Red Devil on his right and Black Dragon on lane 3 staring in the direction of the Goblin. You can feel the animosity oozing. This sport has always been competitive but these guys have just made it personal, John. Clash of the Titans in epic proportions, John. Meanwhile it looks like Wilson, the main referee, is getting ready to start the race. And we're off and it's the Green Goblin and the Black Dragon neck by neck in the marble conveyor belt. I can hear the trash talk all the way up to the stands. The disciplinary committee has to go over this audio with a fine tooth comb. Green Goblin with the inner curve takes the lead in the marble divider. He does it again. John. That's right, John. I talked to the Goblins coach earlier today and they said they have been focusing a lot on the marble divider in practice and it sure pays off now. Meanwhile, the marbles are thundering into the divide by four. Green Goblin on the rightmost lane, Black Dragon on the leftmost lane and Red Devil just behind. Sniffing the back of the dragon's tail but this lane choice is very good for the Goblin. John. Absolutely, John. The rightmost lane of the fish chair is the fastest at the drop off, which will give Goblin extra speed into the marble divider. Looks like the Goblin has all parts of this game covered. And we're back in this cruciating moment while we're waiting for the referees to open the kick drum. It's all about timing here. Who has the rhythm? Who has the beat and the timing to sneak into that instrument lane as fast as possible after it has been open? We can see the second referee preparing, and there it's open. Now all we have to do is wait. Will it be the goblin? Will it be the devil? Will it be the dragon? Let's wait to find out, John. I'm looking over at the exit of the fish chair, trying to see some color. I see nothing yet, nothing just yum, but what is that? I see something green. It's the green goblin. He's going towards instrument lane and boom, straight in. Followed by the black dragon and red devil is missing. Red devil has the worst day possible in the marble divider, having to make that extra penalty lap. That is bad news for team red devil today, John. Absolutely, John. The head of marble divider preparation from red devil's team have to look for a new job after today. Meanwhile, we're being treated to a glorious shot of the new and final design sign of the kinetic fingers and another crowd pleasers. What do you think about this new design, John? Honestly, John, I've had my doubts about the kinetic fingers, but after seeing this final design today, I'm loving it. I am loving the minimalistic use of TIG welding, filler rope, a profound comment on world events. It's art inside art and inception of art is being revealed in front of our eyes while the green goblin is racing down towards the metric sentinel marble drop, going into the marble shuttle with the black dragon just behind trying to catch up. The Goblin is charged and boom, he jumps. Again, completely without hesitation, the Goblin is going for it today, John. Without the slightest trace of psychic abilities, I'm still able to foretell a bright future for this young rookie here today, John. The seems like the Goblin got it on. Remains to see what a Black Dragon can do in response to this. He has to do something. Something needs to happen, otherwise this is over, John. Sure looks bad for Team Dragon at the moment, John. Meanwhile, back at the Marble Divider, we're looking for Red Devil and there he is. Can he make the instrument lane this time? And boom, the Red Devil makes it into the instrument lane. Is it too little, too late or can the Devil make a historic comeback from this position. He goes down the instrument lane into the marble shuttle and the devil is just about to jump anytime now. Boom! Jumps looks good straight into the beautiful stainless steel marble funnel and towards the plywood racing track. We are in the end game now. 
Please hand me that flex tape, John. My nerves are being ripped apart by the gods of marble racing as we're waiting for the athletes to come down this final descent. And there they are, John. Can't believe my eyes. It's a black dragon in the lead before the red devil. What in the world happened in that marble funnel, John? Ask me again when I regain consciousness, John. We're seeing the black dragon and the red devil thundering into the demagnetizer, the last and the most decisive obstacle on the course. I can't really see anything in there, John. Me neither, John, but we know that the marbles are in there. Now it's the question who will emerge first? Will it be the dragon? Will it be the devil? Or perhaps even the goblin from third? Now I can clearly spot the red devil in the upper edge of the demagnetizer. Is red devil gonna take it or is it the black dragon? I'm seeing the black dragon peeking out his nest. Yeah, there is the black dragon! Black Dragon taking the trophy again, followed by the Red Devil into the conveyor belt. And where is Green Goblin? The Goblin is nowhere to be seen, John. Nowhere to be seen indeed, John. Perhaps he's made himself invisible, but there's something. There is the Goblin. He's lost all his colors. Hardly recognizable. He's been through the mill on this race, John. A great day for all the many fans of the dragon, but I have never seen a more beaten up marble than the goblin today, John. He must feel like Corey Benjamin calling out Michael Jordan and being told to sit down as a result. And coming as a surprise to no one, fresh allegations are already coming out from Team Goblin about race tampering. Claiming that something unregulatory happened inside the marble funnels. I think they're too quick, too fast with throwing allegations like these around. It's bad for the sport. And I would much prefer to see a young rookie like the goblin accept his loss and take his two hard earned lessons with him from the race today moving forward. He should have never gone up against the black dragon and he should have never made that deal with the devil john